This is not working. Nope, that's not cute. <clears throat> Hello. Cheers. Welcome back to Coffee Breaks with Brie. It's morning. I woke up a little while ago and did some of my yoga workouts and all that exciting stuff that I usually do. So this is what you're getting right now. You're getting this. Sorry. So that's Lacey. All of these pictures here are not Lacey, so just ignore those. Don't look at those. Ooh, I haven't made my coffee yet, okay? I did all my exercises and all my fun stuff that I do every morning, and I haven't made my coffee yet. But I was just thinking about how I've been craving like iced coffee in the afternoons and how I really like don't want to go to Dunkin Donuts for iced coffees like I'm tired of spending so much money I spend so much money on Dunkin Donuts and just coffee in general Mary Lou's honeydew all the places I go it's insane so I figured like I'll just like make my own iced coffee it's gonna take a while but I'll add to this video later I hope or maybe tomorrow we'll see you know when this all uh works but I decided for right now since I haven't had my real coffee yet I'm gonna make myself a cup of coffee and then I'm gonna make iced coffee because let's do it let's stop spending money on coffee at Dunkin Donuts every day right yeah so let's get to it so I recently discovered this cinnamon crave coffee. Okay, I don't want to say it's like recently because it was probably like a year ago now. But my brother introduced me to this and ever since I've tried it, I've just been obsessed. I love cinnamon. I'm actually somebody who used to like way back in the day when I had one of those old, old, old coffee makers where you just like, you know, pour the grounds and you brew it, that old fashioned stuff. Uh, I used to actually put like the coffee grounds in there and then I put the cinnamon in and then I would just like, like brew it. I used to do that and I love cinnamon in my coffee. So these cinnamon K-cups that I actually have like in a whole, a whole, well there's some that aren't, okay, but I have a whole tree. Uh, these are what I'm deciding I'm making today because they're my absolute favorite. I'm not deciding, I have it every day. I have it every morning. So this isn't a new choice. This has been an ongoing situation in my whole life. This is probably like the best angle I could get. Is it an okay angle? Does it work? Yeah, okay. When I'm making my coffee in the morning, what I like to do is, you know, I have this Keurig Mini that I got for my birthday last year when I turned 26. So I'm turning 27 this year, none of you care. I rinse my Keurig Mini out. Like I have to rinse the whole thing out. I can't not, it would drive me insane. So what I do is take my Keurig Mini, plug her in you can't even see that but it's plugged in we're gonna turn it on i use my trusty brita the trusty brita here pour the water in i don't like fill it all the way when i'm rinsing it because i'm just rinsing it out <laughs> open up the top i have a mug i use this mug every day of my life all the time this mug put it here close the top there's no cake up in here press the button. Now we wait. So as you can see here, Okay, you can't really see it, but I have a steaming hot cup of water. So I take my hot water and I pour it into the sink because I'm not gonna use that. Put it back under, beautiful. Take my little Crave Coffee cinnamon K-cup thing here. What I like to do is I lift it and I don't just stick it in there and like close it because that is annoying. I feel like I'm gonna break my curry. So what I do is I take it and I press it down in there so it pokes a hole in it, close it, water. Now there's like measurements on there, but I just fill it all the way. More coffee, the more coffee, the better. Click the button. 
So for the iced coffee that I'm gonna be making for later today, I am gonna just brew it through the Keurig. I don't even know what I'm saying. I am just gonna brew it through the Keurig and I'm gonna like put it into like a cup or something and put it in the fridge and then I'm gonna let it cool and then later I'll drink it with something else in it, maybe almond milk. I'm gonna make ice right now, so that's the plan. So right here, my mind is everywhere today. I don't have an ice cube tray. Okay, I did. Oh, that was like a lot of water. Oh, it's gonna spill everywhere. I used to have a, Keur I, a Keurig tray. I used to have a Keurig tray and then I don't, I used to have an ice cube tray when I moved in here. And I have no idea what happened to it. It probably broke and I probably threw it in the trash. And now I'm in need of an ice cube tray and I never bought a new one. So whose fault is that? Fine. I have to make sure I put these in the freezer. I'm gonna do one at a time. I just spilled the water all over my freezer, that's good. My camera actually fell, but luckily it fell gracefully and it didn't break. So I guess we're just going to have now like an odd way to watch me make coffee. Uh, I'm sorry, the view ain't that great and it's going to be a little up close, but we can do it. We'll get through it. Ignore the hole in my ceiling. That's like a whole nother story. Okay. A whole nother story. Get it? It's a whole nother story. That wasn't funny. That was like a really bad joke. Cup of coffee. You can kind of see it, you can kind of, nope, it's gonna spill if I do it anymore. I like to put a couple of spoonfuls of this dry creamer in there. Uh, I've had people go, dry, dry creamer? That's gross. It's amazing. If you haven't tried it, I like highly suggest that you try it. Highly. Highly. Spoon. This is technically like a tablespoon, so I'll just do like one, do like two, and I'll mix it up. You can't even see what I'm doing right now. Mix it up. Then I like to use almond milk. So shake it up. Pour it in. I only pour like a little bit. I don't measure it, I just pour it in. This is wonderful. Hopefully this migraine goes away now that I've had my caffeine fix. Now it's time basically, so I take the old one out and I'm not going to like rinse the Keurig because I use the same type of coffee. So I'm just gonna take one of these. We're gonna brew it in this pretty uh, Christmas cup that has my cat on it. So then we're just gonna brew this one. I am just going to let it brew and then I'm gonna move it to like a different kind of cup uh, because I'll probably move it to a different kind of cup because I don't really wanna put that glass one in the fridge. I don't know. I'm, move I'm currently moving you over to the place where I like to film because it has the best lighting and this isn't the best lighting to end this uh piece of my my video here i will be back because we're currently you know forming ice cubes in the freezer that are not an ice cube tray how am i gonna get them out of those plastic things i have no idea but we will figure it out together uh and i'm currently brewing the coffee that i'm gonna use for my iced coffee later yeah so one apple tea threat i'm gonna go sit on the couch and now like drink this and watch a movie that has Cole Sprouse in it. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Hey everybody, it's me and I'm back. Not much has changed other than the fact that I washed my hair. And it doesn't look as bad as it did before. It still kind of looks not good. Earlier I was talking about how I brewed my coffee to make like a homemade iced coffee, which is so simple for me because it literally came from a Keurig machine. I didn't like use grounds hot water like i didn't do anything myself i literally let the keurig do it other than making the iq I, the, <laughs> making the ice cubes to start off i did put the glass mug in the fridge with the coffee so hopefully it's cold enough now it's been about a few hours so it's probably good enough so we're gonna start out by using this cute little wine glass that i have i'm gonna just use this because it's a cute plastic cup and i think it will be fun to drink coffee out of so let me go get the coffee 
Alright, it smells like coffee. It looks like you can see the cinnamon in it. That's wonderful. Now it's time to get the ice cubes. So I made the ice cubes and whoa, one of them just popped. So I made the ice cubes in these little plastic containers. I only made three. So that's all I have. And uh, I need an ice cube tray badly. So I'm going to start off by putting the ice into my cup. Which is actually really easy. I didn't think it was going to be this easy to just plop the ice cubes into the cup. Okay, so the ice cubes are in my cup. Next, I'm going to pour the coffee into my cup. That's a lot of coffee. I don't need this much coffee. So now we're going to pour a little bit of coffee out. Okay, that's a little bit better for what I would like to have coffee-wise. I think there's too much ice. <sighs> we're back. I think there's too much ice in here, uh, but like it's fine. We're just, we're winging it right now. We're winging it. Now I need the almond milk. I'm back with the unsweetened vanilla almond milk that I need to shake. And I'm going to add that to my iced coffee. Ooh pretty right paper straw paper straw save the world okay put it in there i'm gonna give it a little stir stir a little stirry stirry stir stir there's so much ice in here these ice cubes are way too big for this cup it is unsweetened cinnamon crave coffee made from the keurig machine three giant pieces of ice and uh some almond milk let's do it Wow. Yes. 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 This is good. I have to say I'm very proud of myself for making the most simple iced coffee possible. I have never actually done this and that's shocking to me because of how much coffee I make. But I am glad that this is my first time making my own homemade coffee and uh, making it with you. So thank you for joining. Uh, me in this experience of literally making the easiest cup of iced coffee at home ever. We really appreciate it. Uh, you watching. Basically, I just talked really fast in this portion on purpose. But yeah. I made that part of the video and even put it in here. That's really embarrassing. Moving on to this part where I still don't look that good. My hair is just a little bit more brushed out and better looking because I showered. Now it being afternoon and me trying out my iced coffee uh it is very yummy very delish if you haven't done so yet make sure you hit that little red subscribe button down below join my youtube fam and come hang out for more videos in the future maybe more iced coffee videos i hope so i want to try some new flavors soon just right now i haven't got the chance to do that pretty dang good pretty dang good